and welcome to my free Excel 2007 overview guide. My name is Mark and today I will be walking you through step by step the main areas in Excel 2007. Along the way you will learn how to navigate around the Excel 2007 screen, where to find commands and functions in Excel 2007, how to customize certain aspects of Excel 2007, and how to create, open, save and print Excel 2007 files. So let's get started. This is the main screen in Excel 2007. Your screen should look approximately like this when you load up Excel. The main areas of Excel 2007 that we will be looking at today are the worksheet area where we enter and format data, the ribbon where we will find most of the commands and tools we will use on a daily basis, the formula bar where we can enter and manage our formulas, the home menu where we can open, create, print and save Excel files, the quick access menu where we can customize Excel 2007, and the status bar where we can view basic sum information as well as change views and zoom levels. Let us move on and look briefly at the worksheet area. A worksheet is made up of cells. The cell contains information such as text, numbers, etc. that we enter into Excel 2007. Cells also contain the formulas that we will use in Excel. Cells are separated in this grid pattern and each one can contain approximately 32,000 characters. This is a column. Each column is identified by a letter starting from A, B, C all the way up to X, F, D. Each worksheet can contain around 16,000 columns. This is a row. Each row is identified by a number starting with 1, 2, 3, etc. Each worksheet can contain over a million rows. The combination of column letter and row number provides us with a unique reference for each cell. For example, E10 refers to the cell in column E that is on the 10th row. It is important to remember this when carrying out formulas. Now a new Excel workbook automatically has three worksheets. If you think of the workbook, for example the overall Excel 2007 file, as a book, the worksheets are pages in that book. You can rename, add and move between worksheets here. You can also use these scroll bars to move around the worksheet, but you can also use your arrow keys or the scroll wheel on your mouse to move around. To select a cell, left click in the cell. To select a column, left click on the column header. To select a row, left click on the row header. To select the whole worksheet, left click on the select all button. To select a group of cells, left click in the first cell of your group. Holding the left mouse button down, drag your cursor to select the group. To select multiple groups of cells, select your first cell or group, hold down the control key, select the other cells or groups while keeping the control key pressed down, release the control key once you've finished your selection. To add an additional worksheet to your workbook, left click the insert worksheet button. To move a worksheet within your workbook, left click and hold the mouse button down on the worksheet tab you want to move. Drag the worksheet tab to the new position. Let's look at what else you can do with worksheets. Right click on the appropriate worksheet tab to display the worksheet menu. We can insert a new worksheet. Left click in a new worksheet button performs the same task. We can delete the active worksheet. We can rename the current worksheet. Double clicking on the worksheet tab will also allow you to rename the worksheet. Some of the other worksheet menu options include Move and copy. We can move the worksheet, which is the same result as left clicking and dragging the worksheet tab. And copy will result in a copy of the current worksheet being added to the workbook. Tab color allows you to add color to individual worksheet tabs. And hide and unhide allows you to hide and unhide the current worksheet from view. OK, so that has given you a brief overview of the worksheet area. In part 2 we'll start looking at the area of Excel 2007 that contains most of the commands and functions you will use, the ribbon.